Oh, in yours. What do you want, Rich? Say hi. Videotaping. What's up, brother? Woo, it's Darren HB. No, it's Cowboy. <laughs> Love this town. That's why I moved here. Hey, what do you want, brother? Rona? Get Joe. 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 Get what was the place that you put in the wine store? <laughs> Lucky Dom's? Yeah. yeah. Lucky Dom's. Anthony met that mortician girl. We used to go with, with Steve Wilms there. Yeah, she was beautiful. And Anthony said, got to get, he was really hooking up with her or whatever. And then I even took Anthony in my truck down to her work one day to the mortuary in Brea so he can meet her for lunch. And. I don't know what became of it. Oh, she liked him. And then Anthony was working at fucking Old Navy at the time. And um, why can't I remember this shit, dude? Anthony was working at Old Navy, and then she called me up one day. I mean, Anthony called me up one day because he said, oh, I told him I needed a new belt. And Anthony said, well, they're having a sale right now. Come on down. I'll get my discount. I'll get 20 more percent off. So I went down there to buy a new belt. And of all things, that mortician girl, she was there shopping. But she lived in Brea. And she was all the way down at the Anaheim Plaza. And me and Anthony both did his bullshit because for some reason, Anthony stopped seeing her, I think, because he started hooking up with another girl. But Anthony... She came down there and was shopping there just because that day we all met at Lucky John's the first day. She told Anthony Crowley where I work at the Old Navy at Dan Plaza. She came down and she was sending shopping to just keep an eye on him and see what he was doing. But the whole thing was done and over within a month. Why can't I remember this? But you know, I got shit Ray. I don't remember either. So look at this dude now. I'm not the young man. Oh, oh, Life just moves forward, but we're not dead. But you know, look at all of our friends. Yeah, look at Darren. Look, how many, how many, years. how many fallen friends do we know that have died? A lot. Hey. Look at it still be here. <laughs> wow. When Richie Selecta had his going away party, you were there. Yeah, and you know what? A lot of people. Remember the guy that died outside of his house? Oh, the traffic was a, accident? Oh, the woman, an Oriental woman, got hit. Right out there. I, I was going to ask you if you remember that. Right during the party, the Oriental woman got hit out there crossing the crosswalk, and she died. And we never went out there and looked for nothing. We just kept partying, man. Do you remember? Sure. Let's see how good your memory really is. Okay. That was the night. Yvonne and Effie, who were best friends, had a fucking knockdown throw up. Don't you remember? They were fucking punching each other and everything. <laughs> and what it was about, we're talking about Mikey's wife and and, and, and Richie's wife. And it was about because what it came I out, fell asleep in the car like an idiot. I well, woke what, up. It, what happened was Mikey. Mikey, was, Vaughn was getting sick of Mikey's shit, and she thought, well, it's all it's going to be, you know, raising two sick kids and dealing with your drunken ass. I want to kind of explore my... She, she was in love with Richie, too, Vaughn was. Yeah, I see that I never knew. But I knew she wanted to explore Horizon, so she asked, Vaughn came to Richie and Effie now. Wait, wait, who, who got in the fight? Richie, I mean, Yvonne and Effie, the girls. Okay, that's right. I broke it up, and then Yvonne hated me for a long time. But what happened was a couple days earlier, Yvonne came to Effie and said, you know, me and Mike are considering the idea of exploring a threesome, but if I was going to do it, I'd only want it with you. Oh my God. And then Effie turned her down. She said, you know what? I don't want to be with Mikey. So I love, I love my husband Richie, and I don't want nothing to do with it. She goes, you know, it's just something that bosses everybody. It's just not something I really would ever do. And so that that was a couple days earlier. And then during the party, that night, the going away party, things like, oh, 
that was like making a big old fucking knockdown. I heard about that. I broke it up. I broke it up and Vaughn fucking. She was. Because, you know, at the time, I heard about that. It sounds sad, but at the time, Ethel was more of a friend of me than a Vaughn. And it was a sad thing to have happen because this was their going away party. They were moving to Florida. Their house was getting cleaned out. You know, they were they were moving to Florida and they wanted to have a fun party. And I was I got tons of photos from that from that party. Greg, your friend Greg uh the Beaver was there, Dino Rocco was there, uh me and Anthony were there, Mikey was there, uh but you know what sounds sound sad is because I've always loved Devon. I don't know why she put up with Mikey shit all these years, but they got two sick kids. They got to stick together. <laughs> okay, now I'm remembering the camera's on. Anthony, get your ass to California and come see me. Anthony's Hurricanes T-shirt. Anthony's boobies down here. Anthony's trying to get down to California. You better send this to me too. This he cool. has he has a big dream of oh it's my new thing is video editing. I teach myself something new once every month. Will we send this to me? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Definitely. This is got because you know we're never gonna remember all of this until we see it again. It's already been 20 minutes. But I wish that uh, Anthony. <laughs> If you're at work right now at Walmart and you can't have this. Hi Anthony. I'm Corona. <laughs> a shot's coming in a little while. Dude, when we uh, when we uh, when we uh, when we did the, the hike. When we did the hike, um, I set the camera on the picnic table and um, just videotape, you know how at, at the end of the picnic table where you can see all the wine bottles and all the food and all the people sitting and just let it run for 20 minutes of our last hike. And uh, I'm gonna upload that for him too. I'm gonna make it so hard for him to stay in Missouri that he just can't stand it. I was actually thinking about coming down and taking a walk up and down the pier and filming it, but I'm too comfortable in this great bar in the shade. Yeah. Do you know that the first big tornado that came came to Alabama and the second one before we had the crazy one in Massachusetts came yeah. to Missouri. Did any of them get near his place? I was gonna call him. Not yeah. this time. When he very first moved there about three years ago, uh, one got within like eight miles of his home. I just ripped everything up. That was it. Crazy. Oh. I heard about your story. Shit. We were locked down in a hotel. I saw him come by. I picked it. It's full on funnel. But it's never touched the ground. It's never, you can't classify the tornado until it touches the ground. It was a funnel cloud. And I got pictures of it going this, 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 this. And I said to Pam, I said, wow. Holy it's, all, it's all going to get stuck on the side of the hotel in the center lobby. And in the center aisle, that was built out of steel. Everybody's really, really, really nice. You wouldn't believe it, but they're over nice. There are times, Ray, when we would fucking stop at a place, and maybe ask for directions. And you know what? The people, they were fucking, they were just bored. Cause they're out in the little country road nowhere. So I was asking directions and they would just, we were hoping to get in and out of there in 30 seconds. We had only had so many days to be in the South. And I'd be pulling and ask them, you know, where Buffalo Road is and they say, well, first you, you drive over yonder to that bridge over there. Then you turn left on that bridge over there. And it took him a long time to speak. And it took him a long time to speak. Oh, look out for that dead possum. In Missouri, that drives me crazy. You ask somebody something and it takes them a half an hour to finish their fucking sentence. And then after All right, Darren, say hi, say goodbye, Anthony, because I'm turning this off right now. Goodbye, Anthony, say goodbye to the dead possum. We split the possum in Alabama. See you later, dude. Love you, Anthony. Yeah.